right, I'm going to show you how to make a boost leak detector for a 7.3. It's a lot easier than most people think. Um, it, it's, it's really ridiculously simple. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go get a 3-inch PVC pipe cap and air hose fitting. Uh, one quarter inch, I believe. Um, if you want to, you can get an air pressure gauge. Uh, not necessary, but it, it does make it a little bit fancier and makes your life a little bit easier. Uh, you're also going to need a set of drill bits, drill, and Teflon tape. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to decide, you know, if, you, if you're just doing the fitting, probably right in the middle. If you're going to do the fitting and the gauge, maybe a little you know, offset, you know, however you want it, make a smiley face, it doesn't really matter. So you're going to get a drill bit that's the right size for your fitting. Um, just double check. Uh, I'm going to work my way up to the right size and uh, just start drilling. Clean out the burrs and stuff just so you don't suck that into your turbo, that would be bad. Take your Teflon tape. I assume you know how to use this, right? You can tap it if you want. This is not precision engineering, so I'm not too worried about it. This is easy enough right there. There you have it. Um, you can tighten this down with a wrench a little bit. Same with this if you wanted to, but you're done. Now you can see there are some burrs down here still. Clean those up before you actually put it in your truck. I'll take care of that a little bit, but I mean that's all you have to do for to make it. All right, and that's where you would install it. Um, basically, you just take your air filter off right here. For me, it was really easy. I just have the 6637 air filter. Um, I just pop that off, pop this in, tighten the, the clamp down really nice, um, and, and that's it. it it's, it's pretty easy. Um, like you can see, I've got shop air running to here. I don't have shop air hooked up right now, so I can't actually show you, but I mean, you can imagine this little needle goes up. That's how it works. Um, so you use the regulator on your, your shop air compressor, set it to you know whatever PSI you want. Uh, 100 would probably be a bad idea. Do, do that. Um, but like I, I could use 10 or 20 psi. That's safe. Um, generally, I use 20. Um, so you can, if the needle falls, um, that would be indi indicative of a leak. Then uh, you'd listen. You know, if you hear hissing, you've got a leak. And then just go around to some of the sweet spots. And with a little spray bottle with uh, water and soap, that's all you need. Just squirt the trouble spots. Things like. Um, like I indicated in another video, my air intake heater delete plug it probably has a leak. Um, I've had a leak there before. Wouldn't surprise me if I have another one there now, but I'm still making 27 PSI, so I'm not super concerned about it. Um, you know, your boots, that's a big one. Um, your intercooler boots, squirt those down. Um, you know, might as well even take them off and wash them. That solved my boost, boost leaks uh, way back when. Um, and then also check, check this. Um, I'm not perfect, and I doubt you are too, no offense, but um, I know the last time I made one of these, it had a little leak too. So, I mean, just test that. If it's got a bubbles and your needle's just barely falling, that's probably why. Don't go on a hunt for this tiny little boost leak when it's probably just that. Um, 
if you have a mechanical boost gauge, big, big, big leaks. Um, you've got a line going all the way to your, your gauge, that could have a leak in it somewhere. Um, that's why I prefer the electronic uh, sending units for those. So just anywhere that the uh, that the air could escape. Now, if you've got something like a like a hole in your intercooler, okay, you're gonna need a little bit more than you know a ten dollar boost tester and a spray bottle full of soapy water. But uh, you know it's pretty simple. And uh, so yeah, that's it. Don't go crazy with the pressure. Don't stand in front of this thing, please, when you've got it pressurized. Um, I've had them pop off on me. Um, you just don't want to be in front of it. Uh, it's kind of cool though when you turn it off. Uh, listen to your listen to your uh, turbo whistle because you don't have the motor all loud and uh, block, drowning it out. So you get to hear your turbo whistling with uh, with no engine crackle to disturb it. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, any questions? Feel free to let me know. This is going off to uh, one of the members on FTE because um, I've already got one. And uh, yeah, any questions? Let me know.